Virgo! What is going on, you guys? What's the word, yo? You already know what it is. It is Mira. It is Shiva. It is Vibra. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of December 2020. Show me the monthy. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who has clicked this video and who has liked, shared, and subscribed and sent support over here here at any point in time i just want to send well wishes and positive blessings to you i want to give a big shout out to everyone who has been booking personal and private readings we got some new flavors some new decks coming in that you guys will be seeing in 2021 um y'all might have seen me use this deck in the um pick a card readings um actually y'all will see the new decks in the pick a card readings I, I think some are coming in today um this here is the the, um, vintage keys cartomancy deck that um, came in through La Divination who she is a YouTuber here that you should check out she's a very very beautiful and gifted reader and this is her cartomancy deck and it's so beautiful and it smells like heaven I swear the whole deck the packaging smells like heaven she really needs I don't know what fragrance she sprayed on here but she need to bottle that up and sell it too but I just want to give a big shout out to every last one of you guys who have been sending support, who's been booking readings, who have been sending um, cash app donations, uh, PayPal love donations, um, people who've been checking out the Amazon wish list. And we're going to have some decks coming in through the wish list today. So again, I just want to give a big thanks. And if you would like to send support or if you would like to book with me, check out the description box in this video or click the about tab on my YouTube page. Okay. I only do video readings. Um, you can connect with me on Instagram. So, um, my Instagram link and um, the pricing list and everything is in the description in the about tab. If you do not have Instagram or do not wish to use your, um, Instagram, you can connect with me by email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, that's scorpionreds at gmail.com. Uh, that way I can get you connected um, through Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is a free, easy app to download. And the only thing we need to do is exchange our email. So that's how you guys connect with me. Uh, and again, thank you guys for all of the blessings and well wishes that you've been sending over here to scorpion reds tarot now let's get into the prayer you guys let's bow our head and clasp our hands in prayer you know father god we thank you so much for waking us up today for uplifting us for gifting us with you know fresh air and daily bread and the day-to-day -day nourishment and wisdom that we need father god we thank you so much for teaching us how to plant new seeds and how to promote growth in our life we thank you for just moving and operating in the state of hope in our life father god we thank you so much for just helping us reclaim victory, Father God, and just, you know, showing us every day that we are most definitely walking in your favor, Father God. We thank you so much for um, learning from whatever disappointments that we've had in life. We flipped that around and we turned that energy around to make blessings. You know, we've learned from our mistakes and, you know, we're in a safe place right now, Father God. And we just want to continue to pray more and more and more and blessings into our life and more and more wisdom, more and more gifts, Father God. We just want to have more so that we could just pass it along and, and, and return a favor to other people that are in need the same way that we were father god so father god give us guidance again for the sign of virgo you already know what the word is with us father god so just you know continue guiding us and teaching us father god so give us guidance again for the sign of virgo for december 2020 show me the money thank you again for all of the blessings in the past present and future amen amen all right okay so <clears throat> you guys let's get into the energy for Virgo. Alright. So like. With the other readings that I was doing. Normally I have like a specific spread. That I've been trying to stick to and everything. But I just been letting things. Let it flow however it wanted to flow baby. So we just going to let it flow with you guys too. I'm going to let the cards talk. We got the strategy card. Alright. Alright. And oh, we got oh, we got strategy and envy came out in the reverse. What is up with you guys? Everyone getting this envy card. What is everyone so envious about? 
everyone wants to trade places in their life for some reason. It's like the way 2020 has been ending out. Everyone is like envious of the sunshine. Like they just seem to be in a place that is like dank and dilapidated dilapidated and boring and it's like I want to trade places I want to go live in the sun I want to live in victory I want to be happy like you guys are like really going within and strategizing writing your wants writing your dreams writing your wishes writing what you want to do how you think you can do it you know uh step by step plans picking up some booklets seeing how other people did it like you guys are so serious about this shit it's like y'all are so sad of y'all said feeling lonely you know y'all see y'all say y'all sick of being lonely and playing it safe and in the community car so it's this is saying like you guys are trying to go public you guys want to be more public you guys want to be more visible with this community card you want to be more social um this is like more creative i feel like your clothes you want to change your attire you want to change like your environment and like your social standards i feel like you guys want new friends you want to start going out more i feel like that is that what y'all are envious yeah it's like I don't do anything but sit in the house. I don't really do anything. I really feel like y'all home environment as well is something that y'all are willing to change as well. It's like, I'm tired of looking at the same shit every day in the same clothes. Like, you might have been wearing the same fucking few outfits for to the past five, six, several years or something. It's like, I'm, I'm willing to throw all of this shit away. I'm willing to create a whole new life and a whole new standard for me. Like, I'm with it. I'm trying to get out there. I want something new. Is Yeah, is these apples? You want a variety. I'm kind of getting temptation right there, too, with that apple. I don't know why I'm getting temptation. I'm definitely getting temptation. I feel like someone's been bit by the bug or something. It's like, I want something more. I'm tempted to go out here and do it. I'm tired of just sitting here wishing and wanting and seeing what everyone has that I want and me just feeling like I'm letting life pass me by. Like, I don't want that. It's like I've been bitten by the bug. I want to taste the, the forbidden fruit. Like, why? I feel like I want to taste the forbidden fruit. Ooh. <laughs> but it's okay. This is what I'm getting. It's like, you guys might have been playing it safe and just having... The regular car, the regular girl, uh, living the regular lifestyle. Like, no, I want, I want to be more legit. I want to be more popping. I want to be more lively. Like, I want to date the most attractive girl or man. I want to have, I want to be the most attractive girl or man. It's like, if I want it, I have to be it myself. So that's why I'm about to step my clothes up so that I can track somebody that looks the way I want to look, be the way I want to be, see the things I want to see, like, I want to go on those trips, I want to go to the uh, boxing events, uh, I want to go to the all-white parties and the yacht parties, it's like someone just really wants to live it up, it's like, I'm tired of just playing it safe, like, I want to live like a superstar, I want to live like it's not, not even that you want to live like a stupid size. It's like, I just want to live a more grand life. A life of luxury. Like, your earth sign. Like, you like comforts. You like comforts. You like beauty. And like, whatever you're currently around or your current situation, you may not feel the comfort anymore. You're, you're needing an updated model. Of whatever is going on in your life. And you just you just tired of seeing everybody have what you want right now. Shit. I'm being strategic. I'm gonna find my way about this situation. I'm gonna find my way into what I wanna have. <laughs> Bottom line. I want options. Oh, ooh, you got the ace of wands that just flew right on out. Exactly. I want to be in the sunlight. I definitely feel like it's someone that just wants to get the fuck out of the house. Like, I'm tired of sitting in this goddamn dank-ass, dark-ass, 
fucking I, I feel like this is someone's house don't have a lot of windows or something like that it's like I want a new house or a new apartment with a lot of natural light like I don't even want to have to turn my light yeah it's like someone's tripping over their electricity bill it's like man always having to uh, turn the lights on and it's just too dark in here I don't know if you live in an apartment building facing, like the windows is, is not facing the sun or no trees or nothing. It's facing like brick walls and the city or something. It's too many buildings. It's like blocks out the sun. Like it's always raining where you at or something. That's why I'm like someone wants like, you see how this, the, the, the animals over here, but it is, might be trying to travel over there. Remember I was saying this person wanna be somewhere where it's like more trees, more nature, more of a like, you know, better view. It's like better view. Cause it's it's something about being around nature. And then this is the moon right here. I feel like you like it's like you're calling or something. It's like you're being pulled, you're being called, like you're being guided. It's like your gut is screaming like, I got to get out of here. Like I got to do what my spirit is like yearning. Like I feel like this yearning, you know, uh, the mystery, the unknown, the hidden. It's like I know it's something else out there. I know it's like something deep inside of me and just wants to crawl out and just come out and just kick some ass and just be like hey i'm here you know what i'm saying it's like i don't know i'm feel oh you see how like do you see how those wolves are calling out to that moon it's like don't you know it's like you turning into a werewolf or something because you know we just had the full moon or something i don't know if you're like <laughs> morphing into something <laughs> It's like this hidden energy, this hidden juice, this hidden animosity against yourself and the way that you've been living recently. It's like, man, I hate that shit. I don't want to do that shit no more. I want to go out. Ooh. <laughs> like, I want to go haul at the moon. I want to be in the nightlife. I want to be. It's like. I, if they're saying I want to be amongst the glitz and the glamour and. They say in the stage, the notoriety, the fame, like, I want to be famous. I want people to know my name. Like, you know, it's calling to me. It, I feel something is deep in your gut. It's like, you know, something is coming. It's just, it, it's something that's trying to get at you. It's like this energy, this spirit of just something that you ain't seen yet and it's about to hit you and it's something that you know it's like intuitively you feel it growing i don't know if you're feeling like this extreme psychic energy of just like something new is about to come and it's just about to just explode in my life like it's my calling it's my gift it's something that i really didn't okay confirmation it's like i didn't know that this was in me I do feel like under the full moon, like you just morph into like this other creature. It's like you just come out beaming like with this talent and with this gift and with this different spirit that you didn't even know about. And it's like now that this is has come out of inside you, it's like I'm envious of the sunshine now. It's like, I want that. I don't want to be here anymore. Like, now that I know, uh, now I'm, uh, what am I trying to say? Yeah, it's like, because I, because I just started thinking about the vampire. Like, the vampires don't like the sunshine. Like, but werewolves are normal people. <laughs> werewolves are normal people. They live normal day-to-day -day life. It's like you can't wait for another full moon again so that you can just like break out and morph and be who 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 you are. I'm getting Teen Wolf. Okay, do y'all see? Okay. 
<laughs> Do y'all remember Teen Wolf when Michael J. Fox at first he was scared of the werewolf and remember his father his father was cool as shit. Y'all, oh my god, I'm seeing Teen Wolf. Yes, listen. Cause you know, remember that goddamn um principal that used to be on his ass about was calling him a slacker, like he wasn't gonna be shit, like he had some animosity against his father for some fucking reason. But remember at one of them games or something, like the father had came up to the school and had like ran up on the principal and turned into the werewolf real quick and was like yeah you know I will fuck you up don't forget who y'all I'm so sorry why am I getting so geeked up and hey, look and hey, look <laughs> you got the seven of pentacles right there it's like girl look go ahead and use some of your gifts like just harvest just enough just for right now and just be patient and allow for the rest of the shit to keep growing within you just like use just a little bit right now that you need you know what I'm saying pay attention to the resources that you have because you got a lot more coming to you please preserve preserve your energy preserve your thoughts i want you to keep a lot of your thoughts to yourself yeah it's like keep 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 some shit hitting like keep whatever you have in your storage and your resources and stuff keep that shit hit and keep the things that you know secret like don't tell people how much you got what you waiting for what you about to do What's about to pop off? I feel like you need to be patient and allow that shit to grow. And that way when it's time to show, like you're going to show the fuck up and show out. Like the moon is about like hitting secret information. And I feel like your foundations, your money that you got, whatever you working on, whatever you planted, whatever you got growing inside you or even outside you know what I'm saying? Even in your outside presence. You know what I'm saying? Like, continue to carry yourself very humble. Very humble. Wait for that full moon for you to break out and just like, yeah, motherfucker, just on your team wolf go, <laughs> go up in there on that motherfucker full moon at that basketball with your full, like, fuck that shit. Like, yeah, I'm a fucking wolf. Like, listen, make Michael J. Fox. He was so scared of who he was. Like, until he realized, like, he ended up being famous for being the wolf. Like, he ended up being really popular because he ended up being, like, the basketball star. Like, motherfuckers ended up wanting to come to the game to see the wolf. You understand what I'm saying? But the thing about... Oh, why am I getting... Why, why am I... Hold on. This is a, this is a sermon. This is a... Okay? This is a word right here. This is a word. Listen, and the reason why I'm trying to tell you is control your gift. Control your gift. Only use it and keep it to yourself. Keep it hit and keep it under the wraps. Keep that shit under the radar. Be humble. Still be Michael J. Fox. Don't be Team Wolf until it's time to play the game, bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Only bring a little bit out. Only bring a little bit out. When it's your day-to-day your -day and it's ready time for you to go to school and you to learn and stuff, you ain't got to be Mr. Team Wolf, be Mr. Popular because that's where Michael J. Fox ended up almost losing his friends and... Because he started changing too much. He wanted to change too much. He wanted to be in the in the werewolf form all of the time because it gave him notoriety. It gave him superpowers and super strength. It gave respect. Like people that, you know, it, it, it changed his life in a certain way. So I, I swear, y'all, it's something that it's like an unknown gift, an unknown blessing, an unknown resource of something that is literally about to come and change your life i'm really really getting that because you just not I, I feel like you're just not comfortable where you're at no more now that you know that this shit is inside you and you have this ability this talent and this gift that's why you're just about to use cut a little bit down and like the little bit that you are using right now you're going to find a way to let it last you to stretch that out for a couple of years. It's like you are very smart. You know how to not blow your money, not to blow your resources. You know how to, if you're going to take some, something out of your savings, like I feel like this might be y'all savings too. Like y'all might be taking a little bit out of y'all savings. But you carefully looked at what you had just to make sure that you're not overspending. You got just enough so that you can take that coin out and flip that and that shit can last you the whole 2021 and the money that you get and you'll be able to put back you see what i'm saying 
you'll be able to put back because you smart you smart listen you got the prince of pentacles i didn't even see this shit so like exactly like this is new communication this is acceptance this is a gift this is a reward this is a token of appreciation this is a token of affection this is someone investing in your career investing in your idea whatever you struck whatever your strategic plan is like this is a yes when it could have been a no but no could but you sit here and you planned you plotted you looked at the sunshine you felt the rays on your skin you knew what it could give you before you even went out there and started communicating with people because this community right here this is like you're being open to options but I don't feel you being glamorized too much because with that, you know, you being strategic right there. And at number 21, that means the world. So, again, I definitely feel like you are closing a chapter and moving into a new one. Um, I'm glad that even though the envy card right there, I, I, I feel like even though the envy card is right there, it wasn't like a lower level envy. It was just, um not going to beat myself down about where I am. I'm just going to accept change in, in my life and, and allow it to be profitable for me. <laughs> like, period. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is the devil in the reverse. This is good. Okay, so you got the Prince of Pentacles. So I, now that you are more accepting to the gifts and you're learning, and this is also a, a, a new adventure. Um, perfect timing as well. Like, this is a new adventure perfect timing like it was a perfect time to let go of whatever uh might have pained you whatever you felt like was holding you back um any type of toxic love uh old lovers addictions uh you putting yourself down you not wanting to pick yourself up and do something. It was like it was a perfect time for you to release those um, negative self-talks and people that are around you that you really feel like you feel, it's, it's, you said feel like you didn't need you anymore. Mm. Didn't need you anymore. I don't want nobody to be around me if they feel like they need me anyway. So I'm I'm fucking with you on that. Yeah, please get around people, get around from people that feel like they don't need you no more. I need you to be around me because you love me, because you want me, because you value me. You know what I'm saying? And you genuinely fuck with me. I don't want you to be like, you got, no, hell no. You got me fucked up. And, and, and then you got the seven of swords in the reverse. So, and then you got the Lord here. Okay, come on now. So... I definitely see here, um, ooh, I was about to say Capricorn. I definitely see here, um, Virgo, you are like releasing a lot of your old limitations that you allow to stand there while the things that you want was passing you by. It was like, that's why this envy card is here because it could have been your own negative self-talk. It could have been you not believing in yourself or like it was something. It, they said it was an addiction to safety. It's an addiction to safety. It's just like I already have what I have here. It's like I, I feel like just scared, like like fear. It's like an addiction to safety and not taking risk. Like, it's like you really, really don't take risk. But at the same time, if you sit there and plan it, shit, I like plan it out and see yourself as a winner. Like, you have to know that I am all, all deserving of everything that is out here in the sunshine. I am all deserving. Sometimes you have to really... It's not tell yourself that you deserve it. Know that you deserve it. Know that you deserve it. Because if you don't know that you deserve it, if you don't know that you're victorious in it, because the one thing, one thing that you got to learn is other people can't tell you that you're successful. You have to know that you're successful. 
You have to care. Who, 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 I don't put success in nobody else's hands to tell me that I'm good at something, that I'm successful. You can acknowledge me and my success and telling me that I'm good at something, but I already know that I'm good at it. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, I wouldn't have put myself out there. Do you understand? So, sometimes a lot of people get jealous and envious of people that you write. They might not be more talented than you. You may be way more skilled than them, but you can't tell that motherfucker that they, that, that they ain't the shit. It's about people's confidence. And regardless if they talented or not, if they the best single or not, they feel like they deserve to be up on that stage. They feel like they are a millionaire. They feel, you know what I'm saying? Like some people can even be downright cocky with it, which isn't a negative. I mean, I mean, which is a negative thing. But at the same time, you can't be upset and be envious at somebody's bravado because they love their self that much that they allow what they believe and what they think of their self to propel them to actually put their self in that position to win. You don't know how many people that be like, oh, I can sing better than Beyonce. I can sing better than Beyonce. But you not Beyonce. You not putting yourself out there like Beyonce did. I know there's a thousand people that could probably sing Beyonce the fuck up under the table if they will put their self the fuck out there. You understand what I'm saying? You have to tell the world that that is who you are. You don't allow, you don't put yourself in a predicament where you waiting for someone to acknowledge you. No, you put yourself, that's just like when, and again, I'm African American, I'm black, so I'm going to talk about a lot of black artists and stuff like that. Because that's what I have reference for. That's just like when T.I. first came out. He said, I'm the king of the South. This man was saying he was the king of the South as if Scarface didn't exist. Everybody know that the, the king of the South is Scarface. Point blank period. Face small. But when T.I. came out, he's aware of Scarface. He's aware of Master P. He's aware of all of these other legends that have came and have set this platform before him. I don't even put Master Pete on the same level as Scarface. No, I'm serious. Like, no, for real. Face mob all day. But because T.I. said, I'm the king of the South, he put that, he put, he crowns himself king of the South and dare anyone to challenge him. Bar for bar, lurk for lurk, whatever. Motivation. You better get on your job, nigga. You better get on your job. Look, you can look me in my eyes, see I'm ready for whatever, anything. Don't kill me, make me better. Listen, y'all better know by... I'm, 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 I'm sorry, this a word right here. You can look me in my eyes, see I'm ready for whatever, anything. Don't kill me, make me better. As long as that shit don't kill you. Tell yourself that you the king of the south. Crown your motherfucking self king. Crown yourself queen. And go the fuck out there and tell these motherfuckers. If you feel otherwise, come up here and challenge me, bitch. If you can't prove that shit, I'm in the city. <laughs> I'm in the city. I'm going to wear my crown. And I'm going to enjoy all of the fruits and all of the options that, I, that God is going to bless me with. Period. Point blank, period. You understand? It's like you can't hold me. It's this is calling to you. This is calling to you like you bred to be a fucking winter. A winner. This shit is calling you. This shit is crawling out of you. And at least you got enough sense to not going out there being too cocky and being too braggadocious with too much bravado. You know to just use a little bit and move slow. You understand what I'm saying? Take your time. Be wisely. Continuous to stay learning within the process because this is still new to you. That's why it's like, again, you may only be using your gifts on a full moon. You know what I'm saying? You may only be using your gifts on a full moon or whatever you done took out of your reserve. You about to spread it out. And to definitely accepting invitations. Definitely accepting invitations. With this seven of swords here, I feel like you done found your way out. You done you 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 done found your way out of a situation. You know? You legitimately looked the beast in the eye and said, Look, I don't wanna be here anymore. I really don't 
I feel like you got other people to pick on. Like they're they're they're, they're way better people that if you want someone to do your biddings and do your your dirty work and stuff like that, I'm not that good at doing. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm too scared. Look, I don't even want look. I don't even want to go outside in the sun. So, like, how you expect me to go out there and do your dirty work and all of this stuff like that? And I, I don't even want to go outside in the sun and, and, and I got all this talent. So, like, you know, like, if you really want, you know, someone to do your bidding, I'm probably not the person. I feel like, why do I feel like you talked your way out of the devil's lair? Like, the devil thought about it was like, you know what, well, you do be acting like a little scared-ass, punk-ass bitch. Like, how the fuck I'm going to expect you to go fucking do robberies and, 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 and a lot of people and cheat and hurt motherfuckers heart and shit and you scared to just even go talk to a bitch and shit like that man you right man go on out there and go fucking be a goddamn go read a book or some shit go go be great or something cause go be great fuck go be great you know you know what you right you 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 fucking right maybe I should go be great yeah go be great cause you ain't good at being bad at all I don't know what the fuck I, I don't know what I thought about coming to fuck with you go be great <laughs> why, why do I think that you made the devil think about why he even came and fucked with your punk ass anyway and that's not to say that it's bad that you scare and you scary but I guess it worked in your favor like you used your logic like when you realize that you playing with a situation where shit could get low but you wanted to get out of a low vibrational situation you scared of like being in the dark you know what I'm saying like you need some some sunlight on your skin. Look at how pale this motherfucker is. Pale as shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you scared to go outside, man. I'm about to put some suntan lotion on. I'm about to get him by looking at some pretty bitches out there. I'm trying. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's popping? What's popping? Oh, what's popping? I'm in the city. In the city. Listen, I'm in the city. Like, what's going on? Like, what's going on? Let me take a little bit of money down. Let me go get me some <laughs> a coin. Like, yes. You guys, because you know that this is like a card of like strategy as well. Look, I mean, look at this person. They're sitting down trying to strategize what they're going to say. Like they already realized that this is something that's been keeping me trapped and been keeping me struck, uh, stuck on why there's no movement. And. Ooh, what? Oh, they said, I don't put on a good show of being abusive to myself. Like, okay, I like that. They said, I don't put on a good show of being abusive to myself. So, it's like, if you came here to see me hurt myself by continuing to make the wrong decisions, like, you might want to look elsewhere because I'm not going to continue to do things that are not going to resolve my problems. You know, like, I'm a resolver. I'm a solver, you know, so I'm a, I'm an earth sign. Like, that's what we do. I'm a resolver. I'm a solver. I don't do well. I don't do well at continuously doing dumb shit to hurt myself. I'm so sorry. Here, look, you got the Lord on your side. Look, how about you escape the devil's lair? How did you talk your way out of the devil's grasp and went right to the Lord? Like, Father, I'm home. Like, to dust me off or wipe me down, okay? Or wipe me down. Like, what you, like, what we doing? Like, let's, let's get it cracking. Let's get it started. Ha! Like, let's get it popping. I'm in the city. And it's like, I feel like the Lord is giving me, like, vast options. This is a group here. This is like a group setting. Like, you're around the right group of people. Like, the... They said the right shelter. It's like you, you, you get an appropriate shelter around people that have a totally different state of living like they have like thanksgiving feast every day like people eat as a family as a community it's like a community of people that work together that play together that pray together like you guys lift each other up or like reach out to each other give each other a lot of opportunities it's like a network system like you work you worked your way into like a positive network system. I like that. 
Oh, y'all say, yeah, I, I, you, I had to get released from, from shit first. Like, yeah, it's like you were in, like, a bad contract or some shit like that. Like, you were in a contract with the wrong motherfucker. And, like, now you just, now you have a safe new beginnings. Now you're in the right contract. Because, again, like, the devil is, like, contracts, like, bad negotiations. Like, something you can't get out of. Like, you weaseled your way out. Like, you manipulated, like you manipulated the manipulator. Like, you got out of there. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, like, someone, again, like... Like, say, you agreed to do this person's wrongdoings and this person's bidding and stuff. But you're not a good thief. You're not a good liar. You're not a good cheat. You're not a good manipulator. You're not a good person to having a scandal because you'll fucking, like, snitch or something. Like, or you're telling yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're telling on yourself or whatever. You making you making you making the lick hot. So it's like the leader of this like underworld organization just decided to let you go before you get everybody else caught up. You know what I'm saying? Like the seven of swords, like you're talking to the leader about like why you've been fucking up the moves and everything like that. And you're just like, look, I'm just not I thought I was a criminal. I'm not a good criminal. Like, I'm really not a good criminal. So, I don't want y'all to fucking have me around and then all of us get locked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, like, let me just, you know, let me go. <laughs> let me go get a 9 to 5 job or some shit. Like, this is like, <laughs> they let you out of the, it's like they allow you to escape the criminal organization. Like, I feel like they fuck with you. Like, whoever these people is or whatever, they fuck with you and just like, you're right. You're not a good criminal. Please go and get a regular 9 to 5 job. Go to work and, you know, just the criminal organizations are not good for you exactly like <laughs> but the fucked up thing is why i feel like you got fucking you got resources on both sides though because it's like i feel like that these motherfuckers might be your friends or something like i feel like it was somebody that you had some bad business or some bad something going on with and it's like you negotiated yourself out of the situation. It's not like, oh, okay, because you was trying to escape the criminal organization. That motherfuckers is coming after you like they trying to kill you. No, it's like they, they want you to go do better for yourself. Like, please go read a book and go to college or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are not cut out for this street shit at all because you're going to fuck around with yourself and me and everybody locked up. And then I'm really going to have to fuck you up. Please go somewhere and go study some books. You know what, for a matter of fact, go to school and study law, okay? So if something happened to me, you could be my lawyer and get the get us the fuck up out of here. How about that? How about that? And if y'all need, you need somebody to get their ass whooped, just call me. Just call me. I got you, but take your ass to school because you won't fuck around and get us all goddamn locked the fuck up. I'm so serious, y'all. says the corners of the mouth oh in the corners of your mouth okay hold on what the ooh, 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 ooh. it says nourishment health well-being providing for others creating balance nourishing the body mind and spirit i like that like i said you talking that good talk i'm trying to tell you you negotiated the fuck your way out of a situation with some killers and gorillas <laughs> It's like you, yeah, like y'all was living, y'all was living in the, in the dark, like y'all was, y'all were living in the streets and doing the street life shit, and it's like, nah, man, I just, man, look, man, who we going, we going to rob a bank? No, I'm scared, what? Ski mask, I feel like they can still see my face, oh, fuck, you scurry as shit, you scurry like Murray, man, take your ass home, man, I don't even want you to drive the goddamn getaway car, man, nothing, they don't even want you to know about nothing, <laughs> scurry as fuck, <laughs> oh, man, like, bitch, you can only bust a lick on a full moon and some shit when that gorilla come out you and shit, man, holla at me when it's a full moon, when the gorilla come out or something, damn, give me one more, thank you. Because I was about to say, what is going on here? What is this? Completion. I love it. I love it. 
I feel like everything out of the, coming out of the corners of your mouth is the right thing to do. Like, you know what the right thing to do. I feel like you know the right thing to say. I, I, I definitely didn't feel like you safely escaped a situation that you didn't want to be in anymore. You use your logic. You strategized. And you talked your way out of something. Like, you literally did. You literally did. And then, I also, with this Seven of Pentacles, I feel like you felt something else is going on. I feel, because I'm getting street shit here, too. I feel like your intuition was telling you that something bad was about to go on. And you, it's like you felt it in your spirit. And you're just like, man, let me get these motherfuckers this little shit right here. Like, I feel like you... Took a little bit of what you had and you you walk forward to go negotiate your idea and what you came up with with the devil because you were trying to get out of whatever your entanglement and attachment was with the damn devil and stuff like that. But you didn't come empty handed. I definitely feel like you took something out of your resources. You know what I'm saying? And you came with the pinnacle and you know what I'm saying? Like, look. I don't mean to come creep up on you and shit, but look, I ain't trying to, um, like, fuck with y'all like this no more. I know that, you know, it's blood in, blood out type of shit. I ain't got no blood to be giving you and shit, but I can give you some money. Like, nigga, here goes some, yeah, are you good with this? How about I give you, like, 20 beans? Like, 20 beans good? 20 beans good? And like, you know, like I said, you, you talking the fuck your way out of here. 20 beans good? 20 beans good? Man, yeah, you know, your ass hot as fuck. Go ahead. You like, thank God. Listen, thank God. Okay, I knew what the fuck to say out of my mouth, and I had me some money to go and take to this motherfucker because I know this stupid bitch. You know what I'm saying? And again, this nigga's like, take your smart ass to fucking school and go do something lucrative with yourself. So when I call you, you know, you're like, yeah, yeah, when you call me, when you call me, nigga, you better not call me. <laughs> I feel like you definitely got it. says final attainment, victory. Crescendo, job well done, perfection, peak performance, prudence. I love it, y'all. I am loving, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so, Father God, please give me some guidance here for Virgo. Tell me what the word is. Oh! Oh, yeah, they definitely, okay, so they, the, like, they're saying that, yeah, the devil, whoever this person that you getting out of this bad contract with, they're like, yeah, you're going to have to give me something in order for me to let you up out of this. And you're like, no problem, no problem. You just took, because it's like you wasn't telling these motherfuckers how much you had in the reserve anyway. So it's like you just took a corner out of that shit and you playing that shit off. I really do feel like you are playing that shit off. Like you done gave this motherfucker your last penny. Like your last pency. <laughs> like you really did. The four vessels in the reverse. So like again, it's like you seen the light. You're sobering up. Um, yeah, because I definitely feel like you were around bad company, like the devil in the reverse. So you could have been around people that did a lot of drinking, a lot of smoking, a lot of drugs, a lot of sex, a lot of promisc promiscuity, um, people not working, not really trying to do anything good with their self. If anything, their standard of life was like trying to come up off of other people, you know what I'm saying? Work at other people, um like money laundering and, and, and embezzlement and wire schemes and fraud and shit like like crazy shit you know what I'm saying and with that four vessels it's like man I'm tired of doing that shit man I'm definitely that like uh 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 I need a new group of friends I need a new practice group I need <laughs> I need something I don't want to do this no more like this shit isn't fulfilling to me anymore like it was fun in the beginning you know what I'm saying once we bust a couple of licks and to oh and again because I because last time I was talking about I forgot what reading it was but I was saying something about someone busting a lick and some idiot came down in my chat listen I'm not everybody's cup of tea but the people that love me love me if y'all don't like the slang that I talk in and my delivery the fuck off my page.
Okay. I'm reloaded. All right. Let's keep it moving. So listen. So like I said, it's like you could have bust a couple of licks. You could have did a couple of moves with these people and you could have got some money and it was good like the first two, three times. But you know, like the way for you for things to go down the wrong way is if you get away with something one, two, three times and you keep doing it. So that's the seven of swords here. The seven of swords is like you're not stupid. I can't continue being with this criminal organization because we done already been overfilled. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the four cups. So y'all could have partied. Y'all could have just came up off of three good moves. You know what I'm saying? Well, y'all ate good. Because the three of cups is celebrations. People eating. People partying. Enjoying themselves. Like, you know, being with friends. Celebrations. So y'all could have been celebrating hard. And it's like, you want me to do this shit again? Like, y'all not scared of getting caught? That's why I, I'm serious. Like, with the Seven of Swords, it's like, hell no. Nah. Like, I'm not doing that shit. What is this? The Page of Stones. The Page... Oh, what is this? The Page of Bows in the reverse. So, like, this is like a non-action card. This is a non-action card. So, again, I feel like... You guys had to release yourself from a situation where you were doing something I felt like you didn't want to do anymore. You sobered yourself up with this page of bows. This is basically telling me that you are having to like regain momentum, regain passion. Like, uh, I think that you are taking a second to rest because like wands to me represents movement it's like rapid movement like fast movement pinnacles is slow movement wands is fast movement so it's like i don't want to move quickly at this moment i want to take some time and rest it out right now and i think this person wants to get a drink of water I, okay, with this page. So you guys could be rejecting like um, any forward advances from people. Like if people are coming to you with suggestions or wanting to talk to you. Like you might not want to talk to people right now. Like you're just now sobering up. I feel like you've just been free. You've just been released. You know what I'm saying? You just. They say you just coming up with new speculations and new ideas about things. I feel like you just want to sit down and think things out before you say anything to anybody. Because it's like I want to find out who I'm talking to anyway. Because I feel like this is a new group. This is a new contract. I have to watch what's coming out of the corners of my mouth. Again, it's like keep your ideas secret. Didn't I tell you to don't tell nobody some shit anyway about the Teen Wolf shit? Because on the full moon, like you be having all of these powers and these gifts and shit. It's like. It's, if y'all saying I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to talk too much and tell people about what I know. So I feel like you might be rejecting invites from uh, new advances, new new people trying to make advancements towards you about like trying to start something, get something up off of the ground. Like you might be like, no, no, no. Like I'm just so I'm just now sobering up. I'm just now kind of getting to myself, and you know, no, not right now. You know what I'm saying? Like come talk to me tomorrow or something like that. I, I not right now. This six of stones, and then you got exploitation. So and look at this six of stones. So 
This is like people could be asking you for advice, asking you for a favor, asking you to spare a dollar, asking you to like they could be coming to you with like a sob story about them being homeless, about um it's not fair what life be doing to them and their kids and they need your help and could you spare a moment or could me and my family come sleep on your couch or blah, 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 and this, this, and that. And you're like, uh, no, I really don't have any room. Y'all look like y'all might come from somewhere that got roaches or something. I don't really like, I don't know, like, mm-mm. Like, no, <laughs> like, no, like, y'all look like y'all might bring bed bugs to my shit. No, 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 no. I just, I, I'm really feeling, no, 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 no. There's a broken rake in the back. Like, I would have to give too much to you guys. Like, I absolutely would. I absolutely would. I feel like just because you sober up and, like, things are going better for you in, in life, I definitely feel you're in a position to give to people but I don't, I don't see, I'm even with this being the six of the six of pentacles in the upright. I just feel like that puts you in a better position to say no to motherfuckers. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm so sorry about it. Like, no, pay attention to who the fuck you giving shit to and who you allowing to come and put their energy off on you and making it feel like it's yours and it's your responsibility to take care of them because they in a fucked up situation god put you in a good situation so you can keep your money to yourself and give to people that would give it back to you because it's for some reason i really feel like you're saying no to these people because you would possibly give to these people now because i feel like this is just telling you once you sober the fuck up, you guys, and you're aware of yourself, and you're aware of your gifts, and you're aware of your talents, and things start turning around for you in a positive way, everything is in the sunlight, everyone's going to start coming to you with a handout, with a sob story, needing some help, needing some assistance, like you motherfucking Department of fucking Social Services or some shit like that. I'm letting you know, okay? I don't feel with this page of, this page of bonds in the reverse, I don't see you... Just allowing people to come forward to just... I don't feel like it's an open door invitation to come to me with your fucking problems. Do you understand? So again, like, watch what you're saying. Watch what's coming out of the corner of your mouth. Because people may be coming to you looking for nourishment and stability and all of this stuff like that. Trying to know, live up off of your gifts. No. Because right now... The things that you say can tell can tell people that there's a lot of nourishment there. There's a lot of good health, well-being, that you like providing for others, creating balance, nourishing your body, your mind, and spirit. So sometimes, like, and, and I'm so serious. I'm so sorry about it. And I definitely feel like God is putting you in a predicament, in a position to gift and give to others. But just pay attention to who the fuck you're giving to. That's what I'm saying. Because I, I would tell you if you should give to these motherfuckers. I don't feel like you should give to these motherfuckers. Like God is telling you to hold up, wait, and pay attention and look before you just walk into a situation. You don't know. Now they're saying the slithering shit to me again. I forgot which goddamn video says something about the slithering. Like, um, them fucking people from, uh, Hogsport and shit. The fucking Slytherins and shit. Like, hell nah, I ain't like the energy from them motherfuckers. The goddamn Slytherin group. They was some dark ass motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, I want to give to you, but I just want to make sure before I give to you that you would flip. The advice that you would flip the energy that you would flip the coin and you will put yourself in a predicament to give to yourself because I don't want to give to you and you constantly think that every time you eat this food you going to keep coming to me for a handout like it's my obligation to take care of you it's my obligation to help you not take care of you I will feed you and I will give you a bag of seed so that you can go plant and nourish your land until your land so that you can harvest your fruits 
Do you understand? So when I come back here, I'm about to give you a break. I'm about to give you some food for you to eat tonight. But I'm going to give you some seeds so that you can plant it so that it can grow and you can take care of your land. And you don't need to ask me for nothing no more. So when I come back here, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? When I ride by here again, you say, oh, I broke my rake again. No, you keep breaking your rake on purpose because you don't want to do the work your fucking self. You just want to eat off of others. And y'all got to understand that there's people that just be wanting to eat after fucking others and this card came out for you to understand that do not let motherfuckers eat after you you can give to people but make sure that they will be in a predicament to give to their motherfucking self so that they can pass it on if they're not willing to do that tell these motherfuckers no i don't think that that's a good idea i don't think that that's a good idea for you to come here i just got out of sober living i just got to myself together i just woke up i just came outside i just got no no absolutely not you're definitely not about to come and eat up off of my nourishment just because you know i like to help people and, and do and do for others and stuff i, I want to make sure that you you're going to put yourself in a predicament to do for yourself and i'm not getting that energy off of you so I, god gave me discernment to say no so the fuck no. How the fuck am I have something if I keep giving them motherfuckers that ain't trying to do shit for their damn self? No. So what is this saying? We got the Hugh Hefner card. Why the hell does Hugh Hefner keep coming out for everybody? Why do I feel like I want to shuffle? I'm about to shuffle again. Because I swear, like, the same fucking card keep coming out for everybody. This Hugh Hefner, and it's no, I'm going to keep it out. I can't, I can't just do that. But I'm definitely going to give you another card. It says, make every night a one-night stand. Have long-term relationships. Sorry. Because I don't even want to read this card, y'all, because I'm sick and tired of seeing this fucking card. And this is a whole nother freaking day later. I done shuffled this deck 18 million damn times. I don't know why I keep getting this card for everybody. It says, make every night a one-night stand. Long-term relationships are great. Have as many as you can. Surround yourself with young partners to stay fit. I understand why y'all got this. They just want you to, like, I want you to explore your options. Like, enjoy your money. Enjoy your gifts. You know, like, I feel like you guys have played it safe for a long time. And God just wants you to go out there and enjoy some new life experiences. Like, go out there and taste some fruits. Like, don't just eat the same standard apple that you eat all of the time. Do you know, there's Fiji's, there's, like, uh... They're saying water crisp or some shit. Like, there's so many. There's, what, what are the, um, honey, well, honey crisp or something. They're, like, trying to tell me fucking flavors of apples. I don't fucking know. Um, but there's so many different flavors. Like, don't just eat the red ones. Try the green ones. Try the yellow ones. You know what I'm saying? So, like. Explore your op options and enjoy yourself. I feel like the more that you have fun, the more that you make yourself visible, the more that you are enjoying new experiences, the more youthful you'll feel. So, like, make new friends. Especially friends that like to go out and do things. Child, you got Ricky Martin. Come on now. Come on now. Shout out to the LGBTQIA. Come on now. It says sex is like exercise. Practice and discipline are essential. Y'all better go out there and use your sexual um, organs for exercise. You better do it. That's what I do. Shit, because if you want to lose some weight and get great, girl, go ahead and hop on that joint and spin around like a goddamn... <laughs> Like a goddamn spinning top, honey. Ride that thing like a Tesla, girl. I ain't even motherfucking playing, girl. Look, mom, no hands, girl. I ain't playing. Okay, so it says, sex is like exercise. Practice and discipline are essential. The crowd can go wild, but love is something only your secret heart can know. Okay? Keep your friends like your bathing suit tight. Ooh, yes, ma'am. Yes, man. Oh, he look look his little friend in the back grabbing his crotch. He says the crowd can go wild, but love is something only your secret heart can know. 
Yes. Because remember, I was saying something about secrets, like your secret gifts. Like, this shit only can come out, it comes out of you at a certain time, a certain time of the night, a certain time of the day. I feel like it's like daylight. Daylight. In, they say in daylight, we claim your victory in the daylight. Like, let motherfuckers see you. Let people see you doing this shit. Keep your friends like bathing suits tight. And keep your secrets tighter. I definitely feel you're, you're, you're seriously going to get to know other people. I feel like whatever engagements that you may be making, I, and who knows, some of you may be opening up and exploring new options and new doors in your sexuality. Keep that shit to yourself. Everybody ain't got to know your business. Period. 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 You understand what I'm saying? Period. So, everybody ain't got to know your business. Hmm. Sex is like exercise. Practice and discipline are essential. Like, that's why you have those essential organs for it. Use them. Go have some new lovers. Create some new friends. Like, shit. I'll do it. Too. Especially if you just... If for... for if the general energy read had any connection to do with a love situation, like... I'm getting cheers to the freaking weekend. I drink to that. Yeah, yeah. I definitely feel that you guys uh, talked your way out of a bad contract, a bad dealing with someone. I feel like you guys are actually free. You guys are open to new experiences. And you just about to live loud and proud. Like, I feel, I definitely feel like a sense of someone exploring their sexuality and doing things that they normally wouldn't do. And almost like not even fucking caring about um, what people think about it. Like, bottom line, you got the Six of Swords. And then what is this? You got the Six of Swords, and then you got the Five of Cups in the reverse. I like that. So, again, you throwing away all them old memories. You're not mourning no more. You're not feeling sorry for yourself. You're not living in no pity party. You're not even talking about that shit no more. You are getting help to help you move on and have better thoughts and using your wisdom in a better way. You guys might definitely move to safe distance from anything or anybody that might represent anything from the past. Like someone may help you pack. You may be talking to people that are keeping your mind sharp. Like, this is someone going with you to go look at new houses, to go look at, to go house hunting, to go house shopping and stuff like that. It's like, I might want to move over here. Like, shit, hell yeah, let's go. Shit, I'll move with you. I'll help you pack. I'll help you do whatever. And it's like, cool, because I don't want to live over here no more. <laughs> like, I want to move in the city. I think you guys are moving to the city. There's definitely water or something in between where you lived before and where you're moving to now oh shit you got the two of cups <gasps> i love it you got the two of cups yes so i don't know if you guys moved on you found your soulmate remember i said okay the emperor in the reverse the king of cups and the seven of swords so it's like again you guys might have been in a situation where you were with someone that you didn't feel like they were taking any responsibility for the things that were going on in y'all's life and relationship with that emperor in reverse. What's this last card? You got the two of swords. Yes, you definitely have a choice right now. And. Ooh, OK, so get OK, OK. You guys, oh, they say you guys are smitten with each other. So, you guys most definitely have mentally moved on in a relationship. You guys are getting the Hugh Hefner. Now, I'm understanding why Hugh Hefner here. Make every night a one night stand. Long term relationships are great. Have as many as you can. So, it's like you're not allowing, like, life moves on. Life moves on. Like, there's going to be someone that's going to come into your life that's going to help you get over 
the mental turmoil and the anxiety and the pains that you were having trying to get out of the current situation that you're in life moves on there's always the day there's always the sunshine the sun shines every morning regardless if you like it or not the sun is going to come out and reclaim its victory every day so it's like you having to pull yourself out of this darkness and move on and realize that there's so many different options out here there's so many different flavors go and try them all if you want to so you're moving on you're being single you i, I don't know if this is a friend this is someone that you're talking to who is helping you move it could be someone who has a car who can fit all of your luggage and stuff there and move you to this new location that you're at but while you're moving like this person is talking to you go and date go and look to talk to someone from a different race talk to someone of the same sex don't nobody need to know about what you're doing do whatever your heart fucking desires don't be scared don't be scared keep your friends like bathing suits tight I feel like whoever this friend is, if this is if this is a friend that is helping you move on, or even if this is a new lover, keep that shit tight and keep that shit to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this is that's helping you move on, definitely things to turn around. You're not thinking about the past no more. So keep what y'all doing. Keep that shit to yourself. Keep keep it close to yourself because. I definitely feel like you have built a new connection. A new connection. And I feel like you're thinking about it every day. Especially these long walks. These long talks. These long conversations. The more and more that you guys are talking. The less and less you're thinking about that shit in the past. Like It's like you don't think about this shit no more. You wake up thinking about this new connection. Do you understand? Like I wonder what this person smells like today. Every time I come around this person. This, day, this person smells good. This person smells good. It's like shit. My last uh, husband. My last a relationship that motherfucker stank. I, I barely even think that motherfucker took a bath. He wouldn't even wash no dishes, wouldn't even take out the trash, wouldn't even go. You know, he just wore the same pair of stank ass shoes, and them shoes stank every time he took them shoes off. It would sit him at the front door. The whole living room would just smell like fucking sewage and just garbage and just like old socks and just dust and just negative energy like this motherfucker is just ugh. like I can't even believe I feel like you guys especially like whoever your new in interests are whoever these new options are okay you were looking at whoever this person was that was taking up your time and your energy that you moved on from because look now you got you you moved on from the emperor in the reverse to someone that definitely didn't Cut the standards of a real good husband. Don't pay attention to the kids. Don't do shit around the house. Completely fucking useless. To a king of cups. The emperor in the reverse is lazy. Like the emperor in the reverse would make the woman and the kids do all the work. While this motherfucker sitting around in the house and play the playstation and stuff like that. The king of cups is a man like when you come home. You gonna smell shit in the kitchen because he in there cooking for his wife. Like, he's very, very giving and, like, you know, emotionally supportive to his children. He would keep you barefoot and pregnant. You understand? A terrific lover. Uh, someone that gives you the emotional support and healing and nurturing that you need. Completely, op completely opposite to this emperor in the reverse. Completely opposite. So I definitely feel like you are smitten. You are smitten and you are thankful that you picked your shit up and you ran away and that you got away with the seven of swords. That you used your intellect. That you used your intuition with that moon. Something said like something is coming my way. I need to take this risk. I need to plan. I need a plot. I need to strategize. I need to use every little bit of intellect and high education that I have. You know what I'm saying? I'm smarter than this. I could beat. I can outsmart. I can outbeat this trickster. This person that thinks that they're smarter than me. I'm going to show them because I'm going to ex escape because I have decisions to make. 
I have choices, I have options, and I'm going to have to put one of these swords down. I'm going to have to put one of these swords down. And again, it's like having to wake up and make better decisions in your life. Because you don't have to be a victim. You don't have to be around people that you know are not good for you. Because the Seven of Swords is like thieves, robbers, killers, gorillas, <laughs> like bad people. Remember I did the devil in the reverse before. Remember I said a bad contract with some bad people like some people that are not like you like criminals and you know snakes and fakes <laughs> deceivers like that's not who you are that's not who you meant to be at all that's not who you meant to be around so it's like Thank God, like, you're making better decisions in life and surrounding yourself around better people. I'm glad. Oh, and you got the two of cups. Come on now. You done met the goddamn soulmate. Y'all having nice conversations over coffee. You got karmic relationship. Clarify karmic relationship. Clarify karmic relationship. You were in a karmic relationship and now you want love. Because I'm, I'm trying to tell you, you was in some type of fucked up ass contract before. You were definitely in a con uh, karmic relationship searching for love. But look, lightning struck. You got an idea. You know, sometimes it takes being in a fucked up situation for you to realize what true love is. And when you do have true love, you know, it lightens you up. It makes you think better. It makes you make quicker decisions that will benefit you in the long run. You know, don't nobody want no karmic relationship. Don't nobody want to live in that. You want unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Sudden changes, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. I told y'all something about to come. I'm trying to tell y'all something about to come and hit your ass. Listen, thank good that you ascended past this addiction. Remember I told you you had to let something go that wasn't for you, something that was beneath you. Remember I told you that you done outsmart and you done talk the devil into letting you the fuck go because you wasn't a good criminal. You wasn't, <laughs> you wasn't a good bad person. You wasn't a good drug addict. You wasn't a good drug salesman. <laughs> like, you just were not. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, thank God, like, I ascended past what wasn't good for me. You got the palm tree here. It's stability, security. You got the stabbed in the back. And then you got the date. So I definitely feel that you are secure from anyone that would hurt you. I feel like you're safe from that now. You're, you're, you're away from the shade so that you can finally, like, date out in the open and, like, enjoy your life. Let's clarify these love cards and then this is the it of y'all's reading. Which I know this was a long reading, but shit, this was a good action. Come on, Virgo. Clarify karma, relationship, love, lightning, ascendant, addiction, palm tree. Stab in the back and date. It definitely says meeting someone new here. I feel like after you being like covered from being stabbed in the back. The Queen of Swords. So again, you guys are definitely smart and quick witted. And you have no problem with cutting people out of your life. None whatsoever. And you definitely are alone right now. And you can clearly see that this is the winter time. So, and this is about to go into the winter time. And again, Merry Christmas to everyone. You got the King of Swords. You got the, and then you got the Two of Pentacles. And then you got the Hermit in the reverse. Come on, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. So you guys are definitely about to meet your soulmate. You got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Both of these two people are loners. They're people that are divorced, you know, so that they are like destined to meet each other right here with this Two of Pentacles. Like, you got your pinnacle, this person has their pinnacle. 
you both have something to give each other. You both come into the table with the table. So now you got two tables. You understand what I'm saying? You got a dinner table and then you got a poker table. Do you understand what I'm saying? Come on now. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. So this is a very logical couple. Like you guys like to communicate a lot. There will be a lot of open, transparent communication. Like there's not... Uh, like you guys will balance each other. Like there's no lying. There's no manipulation. You know, I definitely feel like... It would take a little bit of time for you guys to open up to each other because you want to see each other's worth. Like this person wants to see what you're bringing because you're not about to up and down me like no seesaw and he ain't going to let you do that shit to him because they will walk away. Period. Period. Do you understand? But you both are bringing the pinnacle to the table. And again, like I said, this is your soulmate. So the only real way that you can really have a positive connection with someone is, is if the person is just like you and has the same foundations, the same fundamental principles and willing to offer the same energy, the same truth, the same loyalty, the same commitment, the same transparency as you. And then that's what I'm seeing right here. You got the hermit card in the reverse. So this is basically telling me that you guys both may have prayed, you know, have went inside. Discover what it was that you need for yourself. And you could have prayed each other to each other. But you guys had to release yourself from karmic connections and had to spend some time alone, clearly. And again, if you can look, both of these, look, you see how it's the winter time here. You see how this person got the Yule log and the fireplace and the mistletoe and stuff like that. So you guys definitely may meet someone this Christmas. This Christmas, fireside is blazing bright. We're caroling through the night. And this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me. <laughs> Let me stop trying to sing. Child, I ain't no damn Chris Brown. Voice sounding all scratchy, but listen, I feel like this Christmas... Why y'all looking so mean, though? I really feel like in the beginning, it's going to take... Y'all not going to trust each other. Y'all are very skeptical of people. Both of y'all just got out of karmic situations. And you guys have released your past. But you haven't forgot your past. Like, you're not stupid. You need balance. You need something fresh. You see something new. You see how these are two children? This is new. This is newness. This is you coming out of hibernation. This is after you guys coming out of hibernation. For a matter of fact, you can clearly see that this is the winter time on these cards here. So technically, you should be in hibernation. So that's why I feel like you guys are like looking at each other like, let me see what you really got to say. Let me see what you really talking, you know. Because I'm good at being alone. You're definitely good at being alone. So it's like, Damn, like this person is like really calling me out of hibernation. May have cracked your goddamn nut open, honey. I really do for girl. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gone, Virgo. I'm gone. Someone done cracked you open, honey. Listen, I am reloaded, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for loving yourself. If this video resonates, listen. Completion. Claim your victory, y'all. We doing this. We out. Peace.